Hi, I'm Chong Ying Fung, a Form 5 student studying in SM Sung Siu Sanakan Sabah. We all know reading is a sure way to improve your language skills. Reading helps improve your vocabulary, your grammar, and exposes you to a natural, authentic language. Plus, reading is an enjoyable and interesting pastime. There are millions of English novels out there, and finding the right one can take some time. It's really important that students choose novels which are appropriate for them, both in terms of interest and their level. If a book is too difficult or too easy, they may lose motivation. If the book is too boring, they will lose interest. Based on what I've read before, these are the five books I found interesting. The first book I like to talk about is called To Kill a Mockingbird. It is a novel written by Harper Lee, published in 1960, and it became enormously popular. It was translated into some 40 languages and sold more than 30 million copies worldwide. In 1961, it won a Pulitzer Prize. The novel was praised for its sensitive treatment of child's awakening to racism and prejudice in the American South. To Kill a Mockingbird takes place in the fictional town of Macomb, Alabama during the Great Depression. The protagonist is John Lewis Scott Finch, an intelligent though unconventional girl who ages from 6 to 9 years old during the course of the novel. She is raised with her brother, Jeremy Atticus Jem, by their widowed father, Atticus Finch. He is a prominent lawyer who encourages his children to be empathetic and just. He notably tells them that it is a sin to kill a mockingbird, alluding to the fact that the birds are innocent and harmless. When Tom Robinson, one of the town's black residents, is falsely accused of raping Mayela Elwell, a white woman, Atticus agrees to defend him despite of the threats from the community. At one point, he faces a mob intent on leeching of his clients but refuses to abandon him. Scout unwittingly diffuses the situation. Although Atticus presents a defense that gives a more plausible interpretation of the evidence that Mayela was attacked by her father, Bob Ewell, Tom is convicted and he is later killed while trying to escape custody. A character compares his death to the senseless slaughter of songbirds. The children, meanwhile, play out their own miniaturized drama of prejudice and superstition as they become interested in Arthur Blue Redley, a reclusive neighbor who is a local legend. They have their own ideas about him and cannot resist the law of trespassing on the Redley residence. Their speculations thrive on the dehumanization perpetrated by their elders. Atticus, however, reprimands them and tries to encourage a more sensitive attitude. Boo makes his presence felt indirectly through a series of benevolent acts, finally intervening when Bob Ewell attacks Jem and Scout. Boo kills Ewell, but Hack Tate, the sheriff, believe it is better to say that Ewell's death occurred when he fell on his own knife. Sparing the shy boo from unwanted attention, Scout agrees, nothing that to do otherwise would be sort of like shooting a mockingbird. The second book I'd like to talk about, entitled The Little Prince, written by Antoine de saint exupéry a French book that has been translated into many languages. It is a children's book that was also written for adults and it's wonderful to read in any language at any age. The story is about a pilot who crashed into the Sahara Desert and while trying to fix his plane, he meets the little prince. This young boy is visiting Earth from another planet. Before visiting Earth, he visited several other planets and met interesting people, such as a king, a lamplighter, and a geographer. 
The pilot and the little prince wander the desert to search for water and have some wonderful moments together. The third book I'd like to talk about is The Fault in Our Stars, written by John Green. It is written for young adults. This book became widely popular several years ago and recently became a movie as well. It is the story of two teenagers who meet in a cancer support group. The relationship of this young man and woman explores the emotional highs and lows of being alive, battling cancer and falling in love. The fourth book I like to talk about called The Giver, written by Louis Laurie. It is a very popular novel and it won a famous book award called The Newberry Medal. The book is about a young boy called Jonas, who lives in a utopian community. It seems to be a perfect community where there is no pain, no injustice, and no conflict. In many ways, everyone is the same and everyone seems content. But then something happens and Jonas begins to see something of the hidden dark sides of this community. He has to make some difficult choices to help and protect someone else. The last book I like to talk about is called The Nightingale, written by Christian Hanna. This story takes place in France during World War II. It's about two sisters, one who joins the French resistance and the other who lives on her family farm, while her husband fights in the war. It is a story of struggle and heroism, passion and adventure love and heartache. It is also a story about women's durability during war and resilience.